Well, starting part three of the Walther's REA building, I'm getting ready to apply the Railway Express Agency decals along the top of the REA building. And I went ahead and cut the decals out of the sheet and I trimmed the decals down to the black. I have some Microsol that I'll apply to the decals once I get them positioned and hopefully that will allow the decal to settle down into the brick uh, mortar lines. All right, I'm going to start by moistening this area with a little bit of water. And I want to be a little bit careful with this because I don't want to remove all my brick border. This decal took a really long time to come loose from the backing paper. All right, so now I need to position this. This has to move over. There we go. All right. Okay, I'm trying to line up the top of the decal with this brick mortar line. Now this is a pretty thick decal, so it's probably going to take a little bit of work to get this to really sit down in the mortar lines of the brick. Now hopefully the Microsol will soften up these decals because they are super thick. Now with as thick as these decals are, probably going to take a little while for this Microsol to do its work. I'll just dab it on. I, I don't want the decals to move, so. Well, the problem I have with these decals is this decal tore right here. I'm going to have to touch this up with some paint. And another issue I had is the decal would not wrap tightly around the plaster. So I ended up having to cut the decal on each side of the plaster. And I'm going to go have to go in and touch it up a little bit with some black paint. Now these decals are just really thick. And I never could get them to lay down into the bricks. I even took a toothpick and scribed along the mortar line and they just will not lay down into the bricks. And I put... I put 20 coats of Microsol on these decals, and that's not an exaggeration. It's hard for me to uh, be very enthusiastic about these decals. I'm at the point where I need to clear coat the model, and I need to have masks to go over the windows. So I'm going to spray the model with a satin clear coat. And if I sprayed satin clear on these window panes, it would fog the windows. So I need to cut all these masks out and mask every one of the windows. I got all the masks cut for the windows and doors. It took me a few hours to do that. You can see where the painter's tape wants to, wants to lift. I'll make sure that's all stuck down when I start spraying. I'm going to spray the model with MIG Satin Varnish. This is an acrylic varnish. And I plan on using oil paints to weather the building, so that should protect the paint underneath. The satin clear coat on the Walther's REA building has dried for about 12 hours. 
Now, as often the case with a clear coat, some of the details get erased. And, you know, with my brick mortar, it's certainly way toned down. You can still see the mortar, but in some areas, it's almost been wiped out. So that's something I may want to keep in mind in the future where if it seems a little bit overdone, that after a clear coat, it may be just about right. Uh, the dry brushing on the roof has pretty much been erased. One positive thing is the decal on the building has been sealed up really well. You know, you have to put a clear coat on the model before weathering. Otherwise, your paint will just be damaged. I'm getting ready to start weathering the Walther's REA building. I will use some enamel products, but I'm mostly going to be using oil paint. When using artist oils, you want to squeeze them out onto a piece of cardboard before using them. And you can see where the linseed oil is being pulled out of the paint. And if you don't do that, then they just take forever to dry. Well, I have the rust done on the awning now. And I think I am done with the rust, period. I'm mixing up a pin wash. And I'm using these MIG oil brushers, Starship Filth. And you can use Artist Oils. I just have these so they're convenient to use. So I'll use them when I, when I can. Sometimes I have to mix up custom colors and then I have to use the artist oils. All right. So we use this pin wash to highlight some areas on the building. So now I'm using the pin wash to highlight some of my window detail. And one nice thing about using oil paint is takes a little while to dry so you have more working time. Here I'm putting some oil paint in the corners. This would be a place where grime would accumulate and then rain would wash it down the building. So take my brush, put just a little bit of turbinoid on it. And I got a little bit, a little bit too much paint in there. Just put some thinner on the brush, and I can wipe it out.
Well, I have the weathering about half done on the Walther's REA building. I want the building to look like it's, you know, an older building that's been in place for quite a while. But I don't want it to look, you know, completely run down. Now the weathering has dried for about 12 hours. So this is what it's going to look like. Sometimes when you freshly apply the weathering, it looks a little more intense. And then it tones down as it dries. You can see I have some of the some of the grime in the corners and a little bit of streaking on the windows. Uh, you can see my rust on the corrugated metal dock cover. a pin wash in the bay doors. And a little bit of grime on the dock. But what I'll do is I'll add some pigments to the dock once I get this building in place. I'm not going to put any pigments on it now because they'll just wear off as I handle it. And I have this end of the building done. So I'm about half done, a little more more than half done. It does take a while. I believe that's it for the weathering. Now one thing I need to do yet is I need to make up masks for all the windows and I need to give it a dead flat clear coat. But I have all the oils on the model and I have it weathered about how I want it. So I'm pretty happy with it. I want the model to look like it's been in place for 60, 70 years. It's been pretty well maintained, but it's showing some age. The extra work I put into sealing up these corners using pieces of styrene really pays off when you get to the end of the project. As I mentioned before, I use some pigments on the lower part of the model once I get it set in the layout, but that's quite a ways down the road. happy with how all my rust turned out on the corrugated steel awning over the loading dock. The REA building is going to go somewhere in this area here. And this will be my main industrial area. And over on the peninsula here, this will be my downtown area. Although, I will have background buildings all along this edge, and that will also be industrial. Fifty-foot boxcars fit really well 
to the dock where I have the open doors. I think I'm going to end this video here. The last step will be applying a flat clear coat, but I want to let the oil paint weathering dry for a couple days before I do that. So really, there's nothing more to see. This wraps up the Walther's REA building project. And I want to thank you for watching.